So the last time you saw us together, we were in Kentucky. Now Shane came up to Minnesota. We're gonna try to get him on a turkey and try not fail this time. We found the group of birds yesterday and this morning. And uh, with the warmer weather, everything's greening up and the crops that are planted around this area that I hunt are now starting to come up. So the birds are feeding on that. They're not coming out in these pastures and feeding on bugs and, and uh, excess corn and manure and stuff like that. Things have changed a little bit. We're gonna go sit up in the blind and see if these birds come out. And if we have an opportunity, we're gonna make a move on them. Otherwise, we're just gonna play it out and see what happens. The birds seem to be want to be more in the woods in the shade with the heat and and in the past week they've wanted to be in the sun because it's been cold so a lot of things changing i hope you're excited to be up here you've never been up here in the summer you've been up here a few times in the winter fishing and stuff but we're going to try get uh, shane one of these long beards we're going to shut up and we're going to get to hunting here we go cool All right, so we jumped out of the blind. We were gonna make a move. I was worried that these birds were gonna come down a ditch line that I haven't seen them use a couple times down this past week. Cause they were in a field where I hadn't seen them before. So we're kind of being sketchy. We're gonna leave the blind, cut down this fence line where I shot my last fall, and sit up down there. As soon as we got to the edge of the woods, we glassed the woods just to make sure we didn't run across an open field and sure enough the, the long beards are all out there along the edge of the woods probably probably 300 yards from us so now we can't cut across the field so we're thinking we may just kind of set up here and just wait it out and see what happens because we don't we really can't leave now we're going to get spotted i think they may have seen us already but they're not really acting spooked so I guess we're gonna sit tight and see the wind is picking up and blowing in our faces which sense is not an issue but it makes it suck for audio noise but I think we're gonna set up here and, and uh, see what happens Day one is in the books. We put some uh, some ground on our feet today. We sat for the first part in the blind and tonight we came to a spot where me and Scott sat last time and it, it, there's bird activity here. We roll up here, get our stuff out, walk up to the road and here's a hand out in the field. So I was like, well, we'll take our chances and went out there and spooked her off. Got out there and sat and about an hour later there's a, a bird that came across the highway and was actually starting to come our way and something spooked him out in the field and he flew across the road but he did come back but he stayed up on the highway and was just eating gravel the whole time and uh, so we wait till almost sunset come back to the car turkey sitting in the tree right next to the car I'm pretty sure it was the one that uh, was walking down the road so we'll be back at it tomorrow Alright, so we got some toms out in the field, we goblin. We saw them as we were uh, heading to another property and had permission to hunt here. And I haven't seen them out here for a while, but I think they're coming across. And we're going to try to cut them off in the woods here, but I'm not sure what their travel route's going to be. We spooked two hens coming out here, but we're going to try to get hidden and set up. On morning too, yeah, I hear they're coming, they're moving this way now, so we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to, they're coming fast. We're gonna have to run.
just because of the size and I guess just my excitement. Um, I wasn't really paying attention to the beard, I'm more of the size and the brightness of the red that just stood out in right, the second right. bird. Oh yeah, he on, stood out big time in there. On the face. And they saw us too because they stopped. You could, you know, he was dipping his head and they were starting to uh, to cluck a little bit and, and make some noise and I thought, oh, I know they see us, but they can't figure out what we were. But the first time was already passed and by the time that I saw that the beard was shorter on the second one, the other Tom, he, there was too much brush in between him and there. We probably got a, I don't know, maybe a 20, 20 yard shot or a little bit over, but we're gonna go yeah. pick him up and take a look at uh, Shane's first turkey. We went down to Kentucky, we couldn't get it done. We were all over the place chasing them things and we had birds all over yesterday, but it just, we kind of screwed up and, and uh, moved a little too early and, but it's over, we got one down, let's go check him out.